na magovernors wale wengine wote viongozi wote wenzangu pamoja na wananchi wa hapa Kinango na Kwale Hamjambo Kwale Hamjambo Asalamu alaikum Bwana Yesu asifiwe Similani Mjisimila Malamazo Mloganji Mbula ya pevo Similani shona <laughs> Asante ni sana Mimi nimefurahi sana siku ya leo kufika hapa kwale Nataka nimshukuru ndugu yangu bwana Guru kwa kutualika hapa tufanye hii shughuli ya muhimu sana katika kalenda yetu ya mipango ya maendeleo ya kwale na taifa letu la Kenya Nataka nichukue nafasi hii ikiwa ni safari yangu ya kwanza kufika hapa kwale baada ya uchaguzi niweze kusema kwa heshima kubwa kwa watu wa kwale asanteni sana kwa imani yenu na kwa kura zenu mimi nawashukuru sana asanteni nawashukuru tena kwa niaba yangu na wale wote tuliopata nafasi ya kuchaguliwa katika kwale na Kenya mzima kwamba sisi kama wa Kenya katika uchaguzi wa Agosti mwaka huu tuliweka rekodi mpya ya kwamba kama wa Kenya tumefika kiwango tunaweza kufanya uchaguzi bila ya kuingiza mambo ya ukabila katika mambo ya siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya. Nataka ni wapongeze wa kwale, nataka ni wapongeze wa Kenya kwa kuinua na kufikisha kiwango kipya mambo ya siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya. Vile vile tumeweka rekodi mpya ya kwamba sote kama wa Kenya tunaweza kufanya siasa, tupige kura na tuende nyumbani na tuende na biashara zetu bila ya fujo, bila ya matatizo kwa njia ya amani. Mimi nawashukuru sana wa kwale na washukuru sana wa Kenya. Na kwa sababu tuliingia kwenye uchaguzi sisi kama viongozi na wananchi vile vile. Na tulikubaliana tukawa na mkataba ya kwamba sote tunaenda kwa uchaguzi. Lakini kila mtu lazima atoke kwa uchaguzi akiwa ame, amepata sehemu yake ya ile mkataba nataka niwaulize viongozi wenzangu tulikuwa na hawa wananchi wakati tulienda kwa uchaguzi sisi tumepata yale tulienda kutafuta kwa uchaguzi tumepata vyeo MCA wabunge maseneta magavana rais kila mmoja wetu tumepata sehemu yetu sasa ni nafasi yetu kutimiza ile ahadi ya sehemu ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya hatuwezi tena kuendelea kushughulika na mambo ya vyeo ya viongozi sasa ni wakati wa kushughulika na mambo ya mahitaji ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya kwa sababu tulikuwa pamoja katika uchaguzi. Na ndio sababu hiyo na wauliza ninyi nyote viongozi mliochaguliwa katika vyama tofauti tofauti. Imefika sasa nafasi yetu kama viongozi kuungana kushirikiana na kufanya kazi pamoja ili tuweze kushughulika na mahitaji ya wananchi wetu wa Kenya tupange vile wananchi wetu wa Kenya watakuwa na chakula vile watoto wetu watapata ajira vile hospitali zetu zitaendeshwa kwa njia ya taratibu sawa sawa 
tuweze kupanga mambo ya viwanda ajira ipatikane tuweze kupanga mambo ya kilimo tuhakikisha kwamba kuna chakula na hiyo ndio kazi ambayo imebaki mambo ya uchaguzi tumemaliza sasa ni mambo ya mipango ya maendeleo na kushughulika na mahitaji ya wakenya wote waliokuwa pamoja na sisi katika uchaguzi wakiwemo watoto wetu wa taifa la Kenya and therefore i want to ask and to urge and to ask all leaders it's now time for us to unite to work together so that we can deliver on the agenda that we set out for the people of Kenya and we can do that which is right so that every Kenyan can move up the ladder vile tulikubaliana sasa ni bottom up tuanze na wale wako chini kila mtu aweze kupata nafasi ya kujiinua na kuinuka ndio tuweze kutembea pamoja kama wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya Na mimi ningependa kusema ya kwamba vile nimefika hapa leo nataka nimshukuru ndugu yangu guru na familia yake kwa kuwa na imani na taifa letu la Kenya. Mtu hawezi kuwegeza kiwango hii ya kuweka bilioni 30 na mumeona vile huyu mungwana ameangaika amesimamisha hapa watu wa mabenki karibu mabenki kumi. Mali amekopa huyu, amekopa yule, amekopa yule mwingine. Inaonekana kulikuwa na harambe ya mabank. <laughs> Ili kuweza kuwegeza katika kiwanda hii akiamini ya kwamba hii kiwanda itatufaidi kama wa Kenya. Huyu guru hafanyi kazi hapa peke yake, ako na wakenya wengi mumesikia ya kwamba kiwanda hii kwa sasa inaajiri wa Kenya elfu moja. kufikia Januari itakuwa inaajiri wa Kenya elfu mbili na tano. na tukiwashika mkono vile ameuliza tunaweza kuongeza wale wanafanya kazi hapa na wale wanashirikiana ama wale wanashiriki katika kuuza ile bidhaa inatoka hapa sehemu zote za taifa letu la Kenya na hata katika nchi za nje. Mimi nataka niwaulize vile huyu mungwana guru amekuwa na imani na taifa letu. Ndivyo hivyo kila mmoja wetu tuwe na imani na taifa letu la Kenya na tukubali ya kwamba kuna mambo mengi tunaweza tukayafanya. Kuna bidhaa nyingi tunaagiza kutoka nje ambazo zinaweza kutengenezwa hapa nyumbani. Na ndio mimi nataka nimwambie guru na wenzako mulio katika sehemu hii ya viwanda ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya itasimama kidete na nyinyi kuhakikisha kwamba hizo bidhaa zote ambazo tunaweza kutengeneza hapa Kenya hatuagizi tena kutoka nchi za nje. Tayari Ripoti tulio nayo ni kwamba kwa muda huu mfupi kampuni ambazo zilikuwa zinatengeneza chuma kama hii kampuni kumi na sita tayari zimefungwa kwa sababu ya mambo ya ushuru kuondolewa kwa bidhaa ambazo zinatoka nchi za nje sababu hiyo wa Kenya karibu elfu tano wamekosa ajira na ndio sababu hiyo kwa miaka mitano tumerudisha chini percentage ya mambo ya viwanda ama contribution ya industrialization kutoka asilimia tisa ya GDP mpaka imefika asilimia imerudi nyuma mpaka asilimia saba ya GDP na ni kwa sababu ya sera ambayo haifai watu wachache wanafanya urafiki na wafanyikazi wa serikali wanapindua sera ili kusaidia mabroka na wale wengine middlemen na wale wengine ambao wanafanya biashara hapo katikati kuangaisha viwanda zetu mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba we are going to reverse the trend 
in the last five years, corn men, middlemen, brokers have ensured that government policy is twisted to favor imported products because they are making little money and they have frustrated industrialization in Kenya. That is why industrialization has come down from 9% of GDP to 7% of GDP and we have lost many jobs. 16 steel milling companies in Kenya have closed down because brokers have changed the policy to favor products that are imported. I want to tell our industry that we are going to make sure that we put in place policy framework, and I have already given instructions, so that we can make a policy framework that favors production, that favors manufacture, that favors our industries, so that we can grow our jobs and we can also ensure that we save on our foreign exchange by making sure that products that we can produce locally are not imported by middlemen and brokers. Nandiyo mimi nataka ni wambie ni kisimama hapa leo. Ya kwamba, we are going to mekubaliana. We have agreed with Kenya Association of Manufacturers. We have agreed with our industry that we are going to move our contribution of industrialization from the current 7% to 20% by 2030. That is why they have adopted that it is going to be 20 by 30. That is the program. And Moses Kuria here has the matching orders to ensure that we build the necessary environment for our industrialization to go in the right direction, not to go downwards, but to climb upwards to 20% as a contribution of our GDP. Kwa hivyo, mimi nataka ni wambia wale wengine wote ambao wako tayari kuegeza katika taifa letu la Kenya ya kwamba tutatengeneza environment, tutaweka sera ambayo itaakikisha ya kwamba uwegezaji wao inawapatia mali ndio itupatie nafasi ya ajira na itusaidie kupunguza ile pesa za gigeni tunatumia katika taifa letu la Kenya. Mnasikia huyu bwana guru anauliza apatue dollars. Kwa sababu bado kuna vitu nyingi ambazo ana import. Huyu guru nilikuwa na yeye Uganda wakati nilienda juzi. Na nikaongea na President Museveni ili atusaidie raw material na amekubali atatupatia tani milioni tano kila mwaka ya kuletwa kwa hii kiwanda ili tuweze kutumia hiyo um, raw material ya iron ore wakati tunatafuta iron ore zetu hapa katika taifa letu la Kenya wakati tunatafuta iron ore zetu hapa katika taifa letu la Kenya nataka ni mwambie governor wetu wa kutoka Taita Taveta tumekubali ya kwamba huyu guru atasaidia wale watu ambao wako na hiyo um, pale kishushe tutasaidiana na huyu eh, eh, guru kuwapatia pesa so that they can produce more iron ore for the use of iron ore in this facility pia tuko na iron ore kule Tharaka Nithi na sehemu zingine za taifa letu la Kenya tutaanza safari ya kuhakikisha kwamba zinapatikana tunazileta hapa badala ya kuagiza iron ore kutoka sehemu zingine tutakuwa tunapata hapa nyumbani ndio tuweze kutumia rasilimali zetu kukuza uchumi wetu na kupanga nafasi za ajira ya watoto wetu na kuongeza ushuru katika taifa letu la Kenya vile vile nataka niseme ya kwamba hiyo mambo ambayo tumesikia na bwana guru ametueleza bado anaagiza hii mlima mnaona hapa hiyo mlima nyeusi hapo ni coal inatoka kule South Africa ingine inatoka Tanzania tunatumia karibu bilioni mbili kila mwaka kwa saa hizi kuagiza hiyo coal na tuko na deposits yetu hapa kitui we need to ask ourselves the rationale of importing coal from 
other countries when we have our own coal. And we can, make uh, we can ensure that the people of Kitui benefit from the resources that currently are going to South Africa and going to other parts of the world. That is a conversation we are going to have so that we can balance our issues on green energy and also balance our benefits for the people of the Republic of Kenya. Kwa hivyo tutashirikiana, tutafanya hiyo kazi pamoja ili tuwakikisha kwamba hizi biwanda zetu zinatumika katika hali ambayo inatuongezea mapato inazalisha mali katika taifa letu la Kenya inazalisha ajira katika taifa letu la Kenya na inatongezea ushuru ndio tuweze kupanga yale mambo mengine mengi e, ndugu yangu e, Samuel Gonzirai amesema hapa ya barabara ya maji ya stima ya mambo ile ingine yote tunahitaji kiwanda kama hii yenye itatupatia ushuru ndio tuweze kufanya hiyo kazi tunaelewana jameni watu wa kwale tunaelewana kwale tunaelewana ndio mimi nataka niseme tukiwa hapa leo wakati tunaelekea e, mbele kama wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya tumeshakubaliana ya kwamba kazi yote itaelekea mipango yote tutaelekeza vile itamfaidi mwananchi wa kawaida either apate ajira ama apate nafasi ya kujumuika katika kuzalisha mali katika taifa letu la Kenya and that is the direction we are going to go government policy is going to be informed by how it benefits ordinary people how it benefits ordinary local industry how it benefits value addition so that we can grow our economy create jobs and ensure that we have enough resources through taxes that can help us develop our country mwisho kabisa nimesikia yale viongozi wa hapa wamesema najua ya kwamba barabara kutoka hapa imefika pale kinango sasa mnataka itoke hapo iende mpaka kwale mimi nataka nikuashie mheshimiwa hiyo barabara tutatengeneza Najua ya kwamba ile barabara ya kutoka Kiranze kwenda Mwena imekwama kidogo. Pia na hiyo huyu waziri ataishughulikia. Najua vile vile barabara ile ya kutoka Majoreni kwenda mpaka Shimoni iko pia mahali kidogo imebakia. Hiyo pia tutaishughulikia. Naelewa vile vile barabara ya milalani kwenda mivumoni imebaki almost 10% pia na hiyo tutakamilisha najua tulikubaliana na nyinyi barabara ya kutoka hapa eh, kuelekea kinango alafu iende mpaka lungalunga inaanza wapi hiyo barabara mariakani hapa si ndio kutoka mariakani kupitia hapa kwenda Kinango alafu baadaye iende mpaka Mangulu Mangulu inaanza wapi Mpaka Mangulu alafu ndio inateremka Kinango Mariakani Hiyo barabara vile vile huyu waziri ataweka katika ramani yetu ndio tuweze kujua tutaanza hiyo barabara lini Ile kitu mimi nawauliza wabunge wetu Mnajua barabara nyingi zimekwama zote actually zimekwama katika taifa letu kwa sababu ya kukosa pesa ya kufanya hizo barabara. Tumeweka mbinu mpya na tunataka nyinyi wabunge mtusaidie. Tunaleta mswada katika bunge muweze kubadilisha sheria kidogo ndio tuweze kuwa na mfumo mpya ambayo itatupatia pesa ya kukamilisha hizi barabara. Tuko na deni ya karibu bilioni tisa ya kukamilisha hizo barabara na inahitaji akili mpya na mpango mpya na ndio tunataka tuwaulize wabunge wetu tukilete hiyo tukilete hiyo mswada katika bunge mtusaidie ndio hiyo kazi ianze kabla ya Januari tuweze kukamilisha hizi barabara hata kama itachukua muda kidogo lakini tutazianzisha by Januari tuhakikisha kwamba barabara zetu tunazijenga 
tunazikamilisha na zile mpya tuweze pia kuzianzisha vile vile mambo ya maji tunaelewa ya kwamba tuko na matatizo ya chakula na vile mmesikia hapa tumesema hatua yetu ya kwanza tutaagiza chakula kutoka nchi zingine tunanunua chakula tulete hapa Kenya wakati pia tunawasaidia wakulima wetu wazalishe chakula zaidi tumekubaliana tunaweka pesa ya serikali karibu bilioni kumi kupanga mambo ya mbolea mbegu ili tuhakikisha kwamba wakulima wetu tunawasaidia kuzalisha chakula zaidi lakini kabla hatujafika hapo tutaagiza chakula ya kutosha ili tuondoe janga hili la njaa na mwananchi asife kwa sababu amekosa chakula lakini in the medium term pia lazima tupange mambo ya irrigation nia yetu ni kuongeza ardhi ambayo tunatumia kuzalisha chakula kwa unyunyizaji maji kutoka ekari elfu mia sita mpaka ekari milioni moja na nusu na ndio nakubaliana na viongozi wenu hapa wamezema mambo ya dams tumeweka mpango ya, 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 ya sasa kwa miaka mitano tulijenga kama dams tano lakini kwa miaka mitano inayokuja tunataka kujenga dams mia moja na hizo dams mia moja itakuwa katikati ya yale mnauliza kutoka hapa kwale tutakuwa na damu zile kubwa lakini tutajenga zingine nyingi kama tano Kenya mzima zile ndogo ndogo na tutashirikiana na county government tutashirikiana na wabunge kwa sababu hiyo ndio njia ambayo itatusaidia tuwe na maji ya matumizi nyumbani tuwe na maji ya mifugo na vile vile tuwe na maji ya irrigation ya kuzalisha chakula Najua tuko na damu ile ya makamini hapa tulikuwa na damu ya marereni hapa tulikuwa na damu ya nyalani sasa tunaendesha ile damu ya mwache ambayo itatusaidia maji hapa kwale na pia itupatie maji ya kule Mombasa lakini vile vile nataka niwatangazie ya kwamba ile mpango wa mzima tu ambayo tuliwaahidi 2017 na haikutimia sasa nimeiweka macho tena kabla ya mwezi wa tatu mwaka ujao tutakuwa tumeanzisha hiyo mambo ya maji ya kutoka mzima tu ambayo itatupatia maji kule Taita Taveta kwa gavana huyu itatupatia maji hapa kwale na itatupatia maji ya hapa Mariakani na kuelekea hapa karibu sehemu za Kilifi and that project i have already instructed the necessary agencies so that we can deliver water on the Mzima 2 line from Kule Kilimanjaro ikuje Taita Taveta ikuje hapa kwale na yende mpaka Kilifi that is our plan and i'm going to work with these good people so that we can deliver on water because it is a major program of my administration kwa hivyo tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi watu wa kwale na jua ya kwamba hapa kwale huyu waziri mvuria tayari anajua ile kazi atafanya mambo ya madini we have a big opportunity on mining in Kwale county na kuna waigezaji wengi wako na eh, wako tayari kufanya kazi na sisi hapa Kwale county vile tutafanya kazi na wao katika sehemu zingine za Kenya na vile vile ile uchumi ya mambo ya eh ulisema inaitwa samawati nini uchumi samawati eh hiyo hiyo uchumi samawati ama ni blue economy tumeshakubaliana na huyu mungwana bwana mvuria tuko na mpango na taratibu ya kuhakikisha kwamba ile mali yote iko hapa e, kwenye maji zetu tunatumia nafasi ya kuzivua samaki na yale mambo mengine tuhakikisha kwamba ina faidi taifa letu la Kenya sijui kutoka Europe sijui kutoka wapi ndio wanme wanaangaisha samaki zetu hapa na hatupati chochote tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutapanga hiyo taratibu sawa sawa vijana wa hapa kwale vijana wa Mombasa vijana wa kule Lamu vijana wa Kilifi taita, taita tabeta hapa na vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya wakiwemo vijana wa kule Tana River tutawajumuisha 
katika mambo ya blue economy ndio tuweze kuzua mali kutoka pale tutoe chakula tuhakikisha kwamba iko processing ili tuweze kupata mapato ya kutosha na mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwamba hiyo mpango tutatembea pamoja nataka mvuria apange ile eh, college tumeweka college hapa ya karibu bilioni moja na nusu hapa kwale ambaye itajumuishwa vijana na kuwafundisha vijana mambo ya port logistics na mambo ya blue eh, economy ili tuhakikisha kwamba we have the right personnel to assist us in managing our blue oceans and our blue economy and also managing our port sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa kwale na mimi nataka niwahakikishie watu wa kwale ya kwamba tutafanya kazi na nyinyi na watu wote wa pwani tutatembea pamoja na nyinyi katika hatua moja hadi nyingine tuhakikishe kwamba tunabadilisha pwani tunabadilisha Kenya tukiwa tunafanya kazi kwa ushirikiano sisi wote mwisho kabisa mambo ya madawa ya kulevya bado inasumbua taifa letu la Kenya na nimewaambia wale wote ambao wanahusika mambo ya madawa na wale ambao wanahusika na kuuza madawa na kufanya transit ya madawa katika taifa letu la Kenya tumeweka mpango kamili kuzuia na kukabiliana na wao wale wanatumia maji wale wanatumia ocean wale wanatumia airport zetu we are going to ensure that henceforth Kenya will not be a transit point for matters drugs in the in our country and it will not be a place where peddlers and traders and crooks are using our young people to peddle uh, drugs in the Republic of Kenya tumekubaliana ya kwamba tumepoteza watoto wetu wengi kwa mambo ya madawa na tunataka tuhakikishe ya kwamba hiyo kitu tunakabiliana nayo na vile vile hii pombe haramu mimi nataka niwatangazie mapema hii mambo ya pombe haramu tutaizima eh. hawa watu wote ambao wanatengeneza pombe chafu inaumiza wananchi wengine wananchi wanakuwa vipovu wengine wanakuwa sijui nini wazee wanahangaika wanatembea wakilala barabarani watoto wetu ndio hawa wako kwa mtaro kwa sababu ya pombe hiyo hasara hatuwezi kukubali tunahitaji wazee wetu walinde familia zao tunahitaji vijana wetu watusaidie kufanya kazi kujenga uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya pombe itangoja ama itazama Kina mama tunakubaliana Mbona msemi na sauti kwa sababu wazee ndio wamekwama <laughs> So <laughs> tumekubaliana ya kwamba hiyo mahali yote ambayo pombe haramu inatengenezwa tutafunga. Nimesema tutafunga. Na wasikie nimesema tutafunga. Kwa sababu hatuwezi kukubali taifa ya walevi. We, we have to think about what we are going to do. So wale officers wetu wote from the police to the members of the provincial administration we must ensure that every place where illegal brews are being brewed we must close them down so that we can have a decent society tuko na mvinyo ya kutosha ile ambayo imepimwa na serikali na inaonekana haiwezi kudhuru maisha ya mtu hiyo inatosha na wanalipa ushuru lakini hawa wengine hawalipi ushuru wanaangaisha wananchi wanatuletea hasara so ni hasara pande zote so we cannot allow that to continue as a country so mimi nataka niwashukuru sana ndugu zetu na sijasema ni lazima mtu waende kanisa ama aende kwa msikiti unaweza tu kukaa nyumbani lakini wacha na pombe there's no problem ama ama namna gani eh so nasema asante sana kwa kutukaribisha again to my friend guru and your family my congratulations for believing in our country 
for investing in our nation and for making sure that you lead the way and you trailblaze so that others, other industrialists, other investors can come along knowing that Kenya is a place you can invest. We can develop the confidence of others to come and assist us build a firm foundation so that we can grow our economy and grow our country. And uh, I want to assure you, you don't need to use WhatsApp anymore. Nafikiri wakati ulisema hapa ya kwamba unatumia simu ya kawaida, nafikiri mwananji moja akajaribu kusema wacha nipigie imu tunione kama hii simu. Simu yake ya kawaida inafanya kazi. So, tutaendelea na muna hiyo, na mimi nataka ni wakikishia wa Kenya, serekali haitakuwa inauza uoga kwa wananchi. Hatutakuwa tunauza mambo ya vitisho kwa wananchi. Hatutakuwa na madharao kwa wananchi. Kwa sababu hii ni serikali ya demokrasia ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya. And we are going to respect everybody, every citizen, whether they are, whatever their station, we will respect our investors, we will respect our industrialists, the people who make our country great. We are going to work together with everybody. So asante ni sana na watakia baraka ya mungu. Thank you. Asante kwa ishima mwishima rais. Naomba ni ruhusu Baba Richard Ruto aweze kupeana chakula kwa wenyeji wa Saburu pale wachache na kisha mheshimiwa rais mama taifa amesema kila mmoja ambaye yuko hapa ataenda nyumbani na chakula Tupigie foleni tumsaidie, tupigie foleni moja Ili mama taifa 